I'm a, I'm actually a new Kalano. Uh, I'm a Novo. I'm We're right really there. A, we're really a lot of actions. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy here. Okay. Shh. <laughs> Shh. You do realize how this can end, right, friend? Your axe versus my shotgun. So, we got two choices here. Do you want to live? Or do you want to die? Give me an answer. Do you hear me? Okay, this is the weirdest encounter ever. This guy's not even speaking to me or anything. <laughs> Those always make me so nervous. Say something right now. Do you hear me? Or not? Okay, then just keep typing. Now, let's, let's get back to where we were before. Do you want to live, or do you want to die? Uh, well, I can't take the chance that you're new or not. I don't know that. You could simply be lying to me, and you could have, be, you could have a friend come up here and save you. I don't know. So, we're going to do this. You put your hands up, right now. Put it up. Press F2. F2. Very good. Don't worry, you won't die. I'll be just checking if anything that could be of use for me. Don't worry, I'm no killer. I do have some useful items. Though. Very useful. I'll give you a gift here, Survivor. This bandana. Uh, it all depends on a, it's all a matter of opinion of what's useful and what's not. You will be free now. You should be free. Now, Survivor. Actually... Hold on. Keep your hands up. Head F2 again. Good. Oh boy. You don't have to happen to have a piece of paper on you, right? Hold on, I'm gonna knock you out. Do you have a piece of paper on you? Should I just give you my death note? Yeah, I'll just give you my death note, why not? You killed me, her her. <laughs> okay, survivor, you can take that note if you wish. Ah, you don't understand, because in DayZ, you, you can write, you can find paper and pens, and you can write notes on it. You can write it yourself a death note if somebody kills you, and they can read it. Or, what I've, what I've been doing lately, I've been capturing random players, taking them banditry, and then giving them notes. It's interesting. Oh well, Survivor, I will see you later. <laughs> Wanna know another funny thing? How I knew you were up here? I saw your shadow on the wall. <laughs> ah. I'll see you again, or hopefully not again. Bye-bye.
And so ends this very brief encounter with the survivor. Not often does this happen. Most new spawns that have an axe like that, or they know that somebody's coming, will attack. But in this case, thanks to that little shadow bug, I was able to know that he was up there. And I was ready to fire. He he looked at the down the barrel of the gun and he knew what was going to happen. And honestly, I didn't feel like killing him. When I saw that he just stood still, he realized he's dead. He's going to die. He's going to get shot. But I, I didn't shoot. What was what also what really scared me was the fact that he didn't um, talk or anything during like the first 30 seconds. Maybe he's calling in a friend, but I took the risk. And then figure out that he's actually, his microphone might have messed up. I don't mean, te technically I should not have believed the story, but in this particular encounter, I went along with it. And in the end, it was pretty cool. I got myself some revolver ammunition, disarmed him with some bullets, and that's it. He could keep all the food and water. I don't need that. Oh yeah. Interesting. What's fascinating is the fact that, in some certain scenarios like this, what is the reward of not killing the person on sight? Did he have to be killed? The guy obviously surrendered, so... I think this is kind of like the whole thief slash hold up slash outlaw gameplay style that I personally like doing in Daisy. But every scenario is different when it comes to doing hold ups. But Daisy, but that. That's exactly how Daisy is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.